All right, we're going to go ahead and get started with the weekly weather briefing for uh, September 28th. It's Tyler Sanfield at the Weather Service in New Orleans, giving you the latest. So right now we are expecting generally dry and warm conditions through the weekend and into early next week. Um, we will still have a, a small chance of rains primarily along the south shore. Uh, we'll give kind of more details on that. Um, minor coastal flooding is ongoing near and around Lake Warren and Bay St. Louis. We'll uh, show a little bit more details on that here shortly. Uh, and also dealing with some unsettled weather in the marine waters. But otherwise, no tropical uh, threats are expected through the next seven days. So looking at our hazards currently, we do have a small craft advisory out for that unsettled weather in the marine waters. Uh, also have a coastal flood advisory for um, parts of St. Bernard, Eastern Orleans, uh, southeastern St. Tammany and southern um, Hancock for that coastal flooding potential. Uh, this is going to be pretty minor coastal flooding. Uh, not necessarily, It's basically right at our criteria that we would meet. Um, but as far as other hazards uh, along the coastal areas, we do have a uh, rip current threat in the um, Mobile forecast area. Uh, just being mindful of that for weekend goers that are going to the beach. And burn bans are still in effect and there is a fire weather watch out in Lake Charles's area. Uh, just being cognizant of that potential for uh, whether that's going to be favorable for fires to spread more easily. Talking about the tropics really quickly, we do have two storms out there, Philippe and Rena. Both of those systems are expected to remain out at sea um, and are not expected to be a threat to our area. Uh, no additional threats are expected, no, no additional development whatsoever. So um, that's at least good news coming out of September. As far as the coastal flooding goes, uh, Shell Beach currently is right around that uh, criteria mark. It's We're sitting at around one to one and a half feet above mean high, high water. Um, Waveland is right, right around that one foot mark as well for mean high, high water. Um, that will come down this afternoon and into this evening. Um, and we're pretty much going to be flirting with that lower uh, side of the bounds pretty much through Saturday and into Sunday. So we'll be keeping an eye on that. It's primarily um, very like marginal, minor uh, coastal flooding in this situation, but it's going to be kind of flirting with that criteria. So we'll have to stay vigilant about how the ob ob uh, observations are trending and, and we'll obviously keep you guys up to date if anything uh, significantly changes. That being said, looking at the long range in the next week, uh, we expect above average temperatures. It's like a broken record at this point. Um, above average temperatures expected to continue into next week. Uh, there are There is potential for a cold front and pattern change towards the end of next week. Uh, but right now, the strength and, and timing of all of that is is pretty uh, uncertain. So it's best to kind of just mainly focus on the fact that in the, in the medium to short range, it's definitely going to remain in that uh, above average temperature range. Um, and as well as we'll be kind of in that equal chance, if not a little bit dry side um, through that period as well. And with that being said, there's really not much that's changed with the drought either. Um, we basically have extreme to except, uh, exceptional droughts across our entire area. And those rainfall deficits are still in the one to two feet range. Not much improvement it is expected pretty much for the next week. So to summarize, we have generally dry and warm weather expected through the early part of next week. Uh, minor coastal flooding will be monitored through the, the uh, weekend time with mainly east facing shores expecting impacts due to those easterly winds. Uh, marine water, waters will be unsettled due to the storminess and stuff offshore. Uh, with elevated winds and waves through this weekend um, and then we'll hopefully start to see some of that abate uh, but too early to really know for sure and then as far as tropical threats go we don't expect anything in our area to be impacting us for the next seven days and with that i will take any of you guys' questions that you have <laughs> 